This week on the Cope Sharp Tank, two grad students pitched their concept for a new thermal interface material. Welcome, gentlemen. Tell me your idea and how much you are asking for. We want to make a thermal interface material out of pure polymer, and we're asking for 500K for a 10% share in our company. First of all, what is the thermal interface material? And why do I care that it is made up of pure polymer? A thermal interface material, or TIM, is a material used to join an electronic device with a heat sink. The TIM is needed to transfer heat, provide adhesion, accommodate thermal stress, and fill in air gaps between the two hard surfaces. These materials account for a $50 million industry ranging from consumer electronics to military and automotive applications. As you probably know, bulk amorphous polymers exhibit low thermal conductivity because the chains are tangled, which increases phonon scattering within the material. But if the chains are aligned in the direction of heat transfer, Phonons can propagate along the polymer backbone, allowing for higher thermal conductivity, in our case 20 times higher than the bulk polymer. I assume this polymer must be highly crystalline then. How do you fabricate these materials? Actually, our fibers are completely amorphous. We have examined them extensively with TEM and have observed no crystallinity. We use polarized FTIR to show that there is a degree of chain alignment along the tube axis. The tubes are constructed through electrochemical deposition using a nanoporous template and a monomer solution. When a potential is applied, polymer chain growth occurs along the pore wall. Finally, template is etched to reveal a freestanding vertical array of nanotubes. Our patented growth procedure can be applied directly to heat sinks and electronic chips. All right, my offer is a salary of 24,000 a year, and if you work hard, I will let you graduate soon. $24,000 and pizza at the group meetings once a month. Gentlemen, you have yourself a deal. Sounds good, Mr. Singh.